I... I just fucking quit my job. Today is day one. So today is day three. Day seven. Ladies and gentlemen, it is day nine, and I did not want you guys to miss this. I've got a year's worth of savings, which means that I have 365 days to find out how to earn a living. So guys, it's day 339, and what I have just done is I just sat down here and created a uh, few Instagram videos about me submitting Smart Hash app officially to Apple. Um, so we'll be going through that beta process as we've all done, you know, we've done before. And I'm hoping to get that wrapped up in, in a few weeks because I plan on having the app go live on April 15th, which some of you may know and some of you may not, but April 15th marks the one year. It marks 365 days, and um, I thought that was kind of a cool idea to release it on that day, so that's what we're doing. Um, the beta is going extremely well, so we, we started the beta, I think, in late January, and we've had um, several hundred people try out uh, the beta. Uh, got a ton of signups. I have somewhere around uh, like three to four hundred people who signed up for the beta and then um, a smaller portion maybe like 200 or something who've actually um, created an account so uh, I don't know I guess people kind of just fall through the cracks or whatever but that's okay but um, it's just it's cool because the process of of coming from the very first beta which actually kind of sucked to where it is now um, it looks really really good uh, the app works perfectly. It's very, very smooth. I haven't had any crashes um, as of late, but we'll see. You know, um, everything's running re really well. I made sure that a lot of the systems going on in the back end uh, will scale well when you know, if and when I get you know hundreds of people downloading the app. So um, I'm hoping those things are going to be okay. Well, I guess we'll find out for real later in a couple of weeks. Um, but beta is good and I'm excited because, uh, you know, as always, I, I add Google analytics to my apps and, and so far people seem to be using it on a pretty regular basis, which is fantastic. Um, I also, a, a few videos ago, I, I, I talked to you guys about, um, how I watched Simon Sinek, a lot of his stuff about starting with why. So, um, kind of pushing some cool things in this app where I'm trying to get it to be very, very personal. Um, kind of almost talking about my story within the app in, in, in certain ways. So, you know, in the very beginning of the app, it talks about how um, there's a video that plays and it shows why Smart Hash is a good pairing with Instagram and how I think Instagram is a place where, you know, it fosters people like, like dreamers and, um, you know, uh, you know, like you know, foodies, and, and, and basically, it allows people to, to kind of work and enjoy in things that they love doing, which I think uh, a lot of ways um, Instagram fosters those types of people, and that's why why I think maybe I've done pretty well in that space. Um, so, kind of kind of talking about uh, that in the beginning of the app, and and how uh, ha smart hash is about helping you, uh, you know continue doing what you love and sharing it with the world uh, using hashtags on Instagram. So that's kind of what I'm going for. Uh, there's little sprinkled things within the app like um, there's these kind of how-to videos and also uh, so how-to videos to help people who are interested in upping their game on Instagram. So I'm adding a couple of those like embedded in the app. There's like a section where you've got these little Instagram tips. And there's also a section on uh, the app that it's called featurettes, which are kind of um, these videos about uh, about the beginning of Smart Hash, the company, me, um, to, to kind of add that little personal touch. Uh, it's, it's funny, the way I came up with it was I was watching uh, some I was watching some movie on iTunes and they have you know those little featurette sections so that you can dive deeper into how they made the movie and all these things and I thought that was kind of cool and I was like well why don't they do that with apps you know um, me leading up 
to the creation of Smart Hash on Instagram, people seem to really find that really interesting of me talking about that on Instagram. Obviously, you guys are interested because you're listening to me on, you know, on YouTube or on Facebook or whatever. Um, people kind of like that idea or the figuring out like what's behind the scenes, how it came about. And it's kind of cool if I add that on, on the app itself so you can see those things. Um, it's, it's more of it being just a little extra fun thing. It's actually, uh, it's actually a very tactful thing, I think, because since I'm the only person running the show right now, I know that the features on this app can easily be copied by somebody in, you know, about three seconds. You know, somebody, uh, somebody either somebody brand new or, or the other companies that are doing Instagram tools, they can just they could essentially copy it right away. Um, so what I'm hoping and what I'm thinking is that if I can differentiate in a way that has nothing to do with the features and has everything to do with the why, I guess, um, starting with why and, and what, you know, people might be, might believe in and, and, and the thought of kind of rooting for an underdog, you know, and, and for the, the single entrepreneur and, um, you know, kind of helping in that way because, you know, a lot of them, a lot of you guys are entrepreneurs and want to do your own thing. And, and you, the, the knowledge that you're helping somebody in that process, you know, gives you hope that, you know, when and if you, you do something similar that, that people will help you. Um, so I'm kind of tapping into that a little bit, trying to differentiate in that way in which I know nobody can copy because, you know, there's only one me. So, um, yeah, that's what I've been up to. Uh, we got a few weeks before April 15th for the release. During that time, I'm going to really punch, uh, maybe create one or two more videos uh, within the app. There's like four or five available right now within the app. So I want to create like maybe like one or two more. And then I'm going to be creating a sign-up page in where um, it's like a, what do you call it? Uh, like you're, you're getting, you're, it's like a waiting list, yeah. So a sign-up page for a waiting list to, to download the app. That'll start probably in April 2nd and go on to the 15th. And when you sign up there, um, there'll be a contest. So if you share the link to that sign-up page, um, people will have an opportunity to win some really cool prizes, and I'm thinking, man, I'm gonna add some super sick ones, like an iPad, uh, Apple Watch, uh, maybe a couple of camera a uh, add-ons to your phone, um, things that kind of relate to Instagram, sort of. So I'm tr trying to create a package like that, and um, you know, it's gonna cost a little money, but you gotta give something good away if you want people to actually sign up and share it with people. So I'm hoping that'll do the trick. Um, and I'm hoping that if I get enough people who to sign up for this, it, it'll be good because when the app goes live for real, I can you know email blast all of those people and uh, all of those people will download the app. That initial, uh, you know, hike in downloads in the very beginning, I know that, you know, um, Apple and iTunes will will look at that and be like, well, we need to, you know, it'll automatically rise, raise its, um, uh, its discoverability, I think, its ranking on, on iTunes. So, um, you know, that, that first hit of a lot of downloads will bring it up. And then when it's, you know, more easily discovered, it'll get even more downloads, and then I'm hoping that'll just keep it going up and up and up and up and up and up um, from an initial launch. So that's what I'm hoping for. We will see what happens. We will see if this whole Instagram, social media, getting emails thing will actually lead to this fruition that I'm thinking of. Um, trying to keep my expectations a little bit more manageable. I don't think it's going to be like going super crazy and blow up, but um, I'm really hoping for that 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 good launch. So um, that'll be in a couple weeks. Until then, catch you guys later.